Uh, my name, my full name yes. is uh, Solo Suomasi. So Solo is uh, the Samoan translation of Saul from the Bible. So it's a biblical name. Uh, Suomasi literally is translated as biscuit soup, which is a well-known Samoan dish. Um, my grandfather and his brothers, um, one was named Suomasi, one was named Suesi, so yi soup, and one was Suofai. Banana soup. So we're all master chefs. So my mum and dad come from the village of Fangali and up here in Samo. Uh, so uh, back in the day where uh, labour was short here in New Zealand, uh, they came over for um, work. Well, my dad came over first, 1973. So they came and lived with family in Grey Lynn and then um, heard about this amazing promised land called um, uh, Otara, Otara, but to my parents it was Otara. Um, yeah, so they moved out here, and then I was born out here in 1974. And, and what, um, which street did you reside on? Oh, mate, Bland Place, home of, this scorpions are bred down there. I've uh, got four siblings, uh, they're all older. Uh, my older sister is Fali, uh, then my older brother Toma, and then my other sister, Nati, so there's four of us. Um, stories, I mean, looking back now and um, understanding um, how things worked back then, um, hidings was was a, um, a feature, but, you know, looking back now, I just know it wasn't abuse, it was discipline, um, and we're thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. Um, I know my uh, older siblings always used to get the hidings, even if it was for me, even if I did, you know, the wrong, they would get the hiding. So fond memories of those. But um, yeah, loved every single moment. Well, my dad's story is that um, when they moved to uh, Otara, he was drinking up at the East Tamaki pub, uh, the Flying Jug at, the, at that time. And um, because my dad is a rugby fan and he played for his village, he kept in his village, uh, he, he said he was looking for a rugby club. So he spoke to a guy there. He said he was in the stormtroopers and he asked him, how do I get patched? Nah, he asked him, um, where's, the, where's the closest rugby club? So my dad didn't really know about Lee. He just said, where's the closest rugby club? And the guy said, uh, at the end of Otara Road. So it's down the road from Ban Place. So my dad didn't know it was rugby league, just brought us down, registered my older brother and I just followed suit. That's how it all started. Yeah, I just think just coming through grades, um, learning about who uh, gave up their time to coach, um, how much people love this place, um, learning to love this place because of the people um, and, and the place itself. Like we're sitting in our new club rooms now and it's such a privilege to be part of this part of the journey. Um, oh, I don't know, heaps of memories. I think um, 96, the Fox stands out, um, but I always put down 94 as our best year. And that's when we won all three grades at Carlo. So it was the 21s, the reserves and the top side. So I don't, I'm not sure if that feat's ever been um, done before, having three teams win finals at Carlo, but um, those are what I call the um, Otara glory days. Um, so it's been awesome to be part of that. Mm. It's a, a privilege, uh, it's an honor to be um, selected by my peers. Um, but I also stand on their shoulders. Um, and those that I used to come down and watch and um, dream about, you know, I wonder if ever I'm gonna make that grade. Um, my brother was probably my first league hero. Um, would never miss his games or try and watch his games and the battles that he had with um, future warriors was awesome. Um, but yeah, definitely a family club, this club. So all my siblings have played for the club. My wife's played for the club. 99% um, of her siblings have played for the club. My nephews are playing for the club. Um, and it's just a honor and privilege really to um, be in this position. Um, not just the player, but as a coach as well. Um, we made the Fox in 1996. And then 20 years later as coach, we got back into the Fox with local boys. I mean, that's the biggest thing for, for us here is our local boys. Um, and just that um, 
aspiration to try and feed it with the other clubs who, you know, have money to buy players or bigger clubs that are like three times bigger than ours. So that's always been the goal for us here. Um, but yeah, I, I um, yeah, I don't really see myself in this position. I'm here with all the guys that got me here, um, all the guys that looked after us when we came up through the grades. You know, without that older generation, um, we wouldn't have experienced what we what we experienced. Um, so guys like Ronald Kite, rest in peace. Um, Solomai Lavia, Saul, rest in peace. I know um, Ness is up there as well. Um, Siua, Wooly Peace, Wheeler. So my honour is because I've played with some of them and also coached some of them. Um, so I'm just, uh, my cup overflowed. And I'm still here um, with a great bunch of guys. Uh, amazing leadership at the club. Um, and just with this whole project, it's uh, such a real um, amazing pathway. You know, that's our young uh, Otarians, uh, our young Scorpions can aspire to. Um, yeah, so it's such a privilege and honour. And, um, you know, my mum and dad, my mum probably, probably would only have turned up to one game in my career. Um, and even my brother's career. But man, when we got home, everything was ready, did our laundry. So um, for my mum, she would be proud. My dad would be extremely proud. He was like um, number one fan. Um, I think he thought he was the coach of the team and that sort of stuff. But, um, you know, without their support, without their guidance and love and um, care for us, uh, we wouldn't have experienced what we've experienced here as a family personally uh, man lifelong friends and you know everywhere you go if you're, if you're from Otara you just know oh mate that's us um, yeah so being part of this club um, the guys that looked after us definitely um, had uh, uh, contributed to um, who we are now you know um, played alongside um, guys that were in gangs coaching the guys that are in gangs, but man, the key thing for us is just relationship and just care. If you peel back all the layers on both ends, man, we just here to play league, play for Otara, stay safe and hopefully get to the Fox and win the Fox, yeah, because we can. You know, times have changed now, like opportunities galore out there for careers in rugby league. Um, I can only say from my own experience that um, sometimes your NRL will be in your local club. And if you want to give your all to where you're at in our community of um, Otara, of the Otara Scorpions, then so be it. Um, but also, if you're from here and you want to, if you want opportunities to, um, or if you have aspirations to play at higher levels, then by all means, go out and find what you're looking for. But Always remember where you come from, uh, where your roots are. Uh, man, this is an awesome club when it comes to friendship, family. Um, and one of the best things about this club is that we're always trying to breed our locals. So if we had a million dollars, we most probably would, but I'm glad we don't because, um, man, I just, I believe, we all believe here that we've got players in our own community um, that can reach the highest level. So, um, yeah, stay with the Scorpions. But by all means, if you need to um, try other places, then never forget us or where you come from.